Okay, so, um, I guess we have to leave the crime scene. I don't trust that. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. Uh, of course. But... And what if I don't comply? <laughs> My officers have your head in their sights. Itchy trigger fingers, the lot of them. You really want to give them an excuse. Ah, point taken, sir. Smart choice. Go ahead, men. Huh. I was arrested, but, um... Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Now, weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? To what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. Hmm? I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. Makes sense. The Mafia would have an in with the police. How else would they make sure they aren't caught? I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. Oh, great. I've been joshed. So now they believe I'm just crazy and don't Please, remember. Sir. My sister's missing, and nobody will help me find her. I'll help You're you, buddy. My name's Charles Reed, private investigator. Ready to help if the price is right. And you are? Oh, sir. Thank you. I'm Jacob Tucker. Uh, take anything you want. Just find Emily. Please. We have a deal. Now, a couple more questions. If How I'm going to disappear? investigate, I'll need more to go on. What happened? She's been in the asylum for two months. Uh -huh. I visit her every week, but when I went yesterday, the doctors acted like they didn't know me or her. I'm not insane. I swear. I know she was there. Something's happened, but uh, please, sir, find my Emily. She's all I have left. Tell me if more, man. help, I'll need more information. Emily's my little sister. We lost everything during this damn flood. And then she had some... some kind of breakdown. It was my job, a brother's job, to protect her. And I failed. What is that on your stomach? Can't you ask the police for help? <laughs> no one in this city cares about the insane. She's just another nobody for them to ignore. I'll find her, but again, what is that? Are those just logs Rest assured, to your I'll do what I can to locate your sister. Goodbye. Darling of fortune. Well, to the asylum I go then. <laughs> Where 
least if I'm seen doing good things, then I have an alibi if someone tries to blame me again. Hopefully. It does seem like the uh, damned if you do, if you do, damned if you don't die. Kind of yeah, worst case scenario, I have enough bullets to take out a squad of police. At least. They want to falsely accuse me. I'll give them a reason to accuse me. Welcome to the Oakmont Asylum. I'm Dr. Palmer. Oh. What brings you here? Charles Reed, PI. I'm looking for a patient of yours, Emily Tucker. I'm sorry, Mr. Reed, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. We have no patient by that name, but you're not the first to ask about her. Are you perhaps acquainted with a man named Jacob Tucker? Never heard of him. I'm guessing he's a relative. Indeed. A brother, if I recall. You may want to locate him. It could be easier to find your Emily together. May I inspect your patient files? Perhaps Emily has been misidentified. I'm sure as a professional you understand patient confidentiality. Our files are secure, but feel free to talk to our guests. We've nothing to hide. Take care. I know your name. You are in a note finding the Blackwood areas. Dear colleagues and patients, since the flood, parts of the asylum are undergoing slow but steady repairs. And while we are hoping to restore some rooms in the foreseeable future, it is yet uncertain when we will gain access to all the buildings. Be patient and grateful to those friends and relatives who weren't afraid to come help us piece our home back together. Anything I can help you with? Uh, can you give me a flamethrower? No? Oh well. Traveler E. Derby visited Yugoth. Next visit. Status returned to Earth at the Traveler's request. Next address, Murdoch Avenue between University Street and Forefather Street, Central Ad Advent. Notes, this one is noisy. Don't turn on his voice device for at least two more years. I have a headache. Oh. Punk brain cylinders. Have you seen the beast? Haven't you seen the beast? Beast. The worm? The one in my head? I've seen that beast. What can I do for you? Anything I can help you with? Can you help me? I'm looking for the room where the doctors keep all their papers. 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 Room. Yes. I know it. Locked with all their secrets. Doc had the keys, but no more. Wait. Did you see that? See what? Uh, never mind. For a second, I, th I thought there was something inside you. Something other. Uh, be that as it may, uh, you were saying about the keys? Keys. Keys. The keys. Edna took them. We're playing hide-and-seek right now, Edna and me. Hide-and-seek. Well, best of luck. 
Keep your luck. I can see what others can't. Don't forget to feed what's inside. <laughs> Emily Tucker. Ever heard of her? Tucker. Tucker. Oh, she's not playing no more. She won. Where is she now? She won, mister. She won. She, she's everywhere. What? Like, murdered everywhere? Or, like, how is it here? I can't say I expected such a peaceful atmosphere. Mm, I like it, I like it. We eat, we sleep, we talk with the docs. I like. What about the procedures? Just talk, 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 talk. These Danes call it procedure. <laughs> talking is talking. Well, at least you're in a nice place. Take care. Or won't budge. Colleagues, this please watch your pockets. Some of our more excitable patients have taken an interest in the keys to the record room. And my little birdie friend has told me where. Watch your pockets. Some patients here have wandering fingers. That's exactly what I'm looking for, buddy. Get to the room where the doctors store their files. Can you help me? Ah, yes. Edna knows this room. So many places to hide. Ah, surely this room is locked. How can you hide in there? Edna has keys. Shiny, precious things. Edna, could I please borrow that key? Huh? <laughs> Not for free. But if man brings Edna something else shiny, Edna found. Bang bang. But it's empty. Will man give Edna bang shell? You're after bullets, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> man is right. Shiny bang bangs. You have? You, you have? Ah, frig. <laughs> I want to see what happens. How about some of these in exchange for those keys of yours? Shiny glittery shells. Yes. Nice man can take boring old keys. Was there ever a girl called Emily here? Ah, pretty girl who won. Nice Emily. Always with Edna when she was sad. Where is she now? Right here in the kitchen. She hides even better than Edna. Makes herself smaller. Hides inside. Bye. Kitchen. Up. Yeah, I shouldn't be surprised. Honestly, they're not that bad. Like, I grew up with people like that, so I can kind of weird. The cans look used and worn, but the meat smells fresh. Compared to like, crazy, crazy people, there is not much threat from these guys. Aside from Etna, who I just get bullets to. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun to watch. Which doctor is going to get the bullet through the face first? Can you hear? The end is nigh. Let's we'll play begin again. What is Rude. down? What am I? Don't just stand, Malik. So Can you hear it? What am I? Don't just stare at Malik. Nobody's home. Can nobody come out and play? Nobody's home. Okay. See you, nobody. Hey. Yeah.
We regret to inform you that Winner and Co. Oakmont City's most esteemed food supplier for medical institutions will soon close. Unfortunately, our location in Grimhaven Bay is no longer operational as a result of the flood. We apologize to all of our clients unreservedly and hope you will be able to find sustenance for your staff and patients elsewhere. EF arrived. ET arrived. Transported to Winter and Co. <laughs> EF, Doc P, Doc C, ET. <laughs> Oh, I want to see what happened. The music! The music stopped! Bring it back! Bring it back! So much blood. It's not good. Not good for my leaves. Dr. Palmer, what happened? Oh, it's horrible. Somebody gave Edna a gun, and she... she... okay. Forgive their souls. Oh, I'm sorry. When I find <laughs> the bastard responsible, I'll tear his head right off. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't deserve that. There's nothing we can do to save them now. I hope they find their peace. Well, Edna won. Edna. Did you have fun with the bang bang? <sighs> oh, there she goes. I should have known it would end this way. I was kind of hoping she would shoot all the people. Anything I can help you with? Advent Murdoch Avenue, between University Street and Forefather Street. Murdoch. Well, there's more beds now. <laughs> Uh. You know, only experience so much dark stuff before your mind starts finding it funny. Pretty sure I can say my mind's reached that point now. Cylinders and then look for the dupes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's one of these. Okay.
Oh, this is the kind of room I was talking about. If you go to the second floor of these buildings. Okay, this one actually is different. So, huh. Oh, I thought it was a... No, I can't. Well, let's see if the, um... Common rules apply for this game. Must be that side. I guess I have to go through this. Or... Not... Oh. Oh. Hey, Alistair Crowley, really? Defective. Makes sense. Return to Earth. Next address, Northern Advent Crossroad of Forefather Street, Windhoff Street. Did you really think it was his real brain? I can't believe that. Well, it makes sense if it was defective. Though. He is a crazy, crazy man. Or was. I used to know a man who idolized Alistair Crowley too. Northern Advent, Crossroad of Forefathers Street, Windhoff Street.
traveler F. Morgan refused to cooperate to turn to Earth. Intersection of Sam Reed Street and Bolton Road, Central Reed Heights. I've told you. Central Reed Heights, Sam Reed Street, Bolton Road. Intersection. Another dangerous place. Uh oh. Aha! There are people in my head. Yay! I'm Please. not alone. Help me out. Hello, screaming friend. I am not dying to this Digian Harvester. Well, technically this is at the corner of the intersection. No. Brain jar, people. Secret door. Okay. Or not. Nope. Oh, secret door. Predictable.
Okay. Yep. That happened. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, good, good, good. I'm reading blah 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 blah. That saved me a lot of bullets actually. <laughs> Who knew killing is <laughs> no. Remember friends, this is all in jest. Unless it's a story. Do not do anything you ever see in this series. It is like ninety-eight percent things that are very, very bad. And the other two percent is just really, really weird. Like the guy who got a portrait painted of him making out with a fish. It's not the worst thing, but it's also really just weird that he would want that. Oh. What do we have up here, buddy? Return to Earth per Traveler's request, Whisper Street between Central Street and Deep Shore Road, Eastern Grim Haven Bay. What a pity. I thought this traveler would be great company on my way home. Maybe we'll ask him once more. Whisper Street. Between... Central Street and Deep Shore Street. Deep Shore Street. Oh, it's the exact building that I had marked at the start of the game. That's impressive. I should run. Very fast. Oh, of course, they're on top. Bye bye. Just thinking, where's the closest? I'm just going to the right. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Let's just brush. Finally, run. Run this like the chicken that I am.
There we are. I'm coming, magic brain dude. If you feel you can't stand hunger, pain, disease of this world, accept my gift. The blue pill you've got in your hand is my answer to your prayers. Take it and you'll be fed. Take it and the pain will go away. The next hour of your life will be blessed. One pill and you'll be happy till the end of your life. I promise. Yeah. I'm guessing that was an arsenic. I tried on one. They never tell you what happens if you survive them. The side effect if you survive one of those pills is not fun. Traveler, S. March. Couldn't bear the stress, returned to Earth. Kingsport Street, east from the intersection of with Victory Lane, eastern cover side. Do we really need to send it back to travelers like this? It's a waste of time if you ask me. Like, my neck. There are times where, like, the bones in my neck will harden. Kind of. I'm like stiffen, so you can't move your neck or turn your neck at all. It's just like completely solid. And it was a side effect from. Actually, I don't know if it was the arsenic pill or the side effect. But it was the side effect of a suicide pill. That did not actually. Kill me when I was a, a bit dark, but meh. This is a dark series. It's not like my experiences are any worse than the groups that are in this game. But yeah. Anyone thinking to end their life, specifically in those ways, just remember, there's a chance you will fail, and your life will be so much worse than it was before you tried. Sometimes it's better to take the suffering that you have, than risk it and get suffering that's so much worse. I know it's not motivational, but that's the best I can advise you when it comes to it. Eastern Coverside. Kingsport Street. Victory Lane. If I can find either, I can... Kingsport. Victory Lane. Oh. It's... Right there. But yeah. I heavily advise against suicide. I have a person, I have a person who has suffered with it and attempted it dozens upon dozens of times. It's also the reason why we have a suicide support branch of our company. If anyone out there, whether you're watching this now or you hear about it, whatever, if you're ever struggling with these thoughts, I'm always open to have a talk. Like Anything you're going through, I'm here to help. Just know your life is a lot more important, even to other people, than you think it is.
Sorry for getting a bit preachy. Oh god, it's gonna be a Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. Usually in these buildings, you go up, same way I just did there, you go through there, and that's where every single one of the uh, um, DLC items uh, If you're looking for the Book of Dagon, the uh, Book of... Uh, Numbcon, basically every cursed book from the uh, seven book mission are in buildings like this. Yeah. And yes. Oh. Where are you, stupid? Enough wasting the time. I win. Kind of. I'm counting it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I said. So you just go over here. This. And this. And it's always over here. Or rarely this side. That was annoying me because the episode I showed all the areas got deleted. So now you can actually see where they are still. Our Olmstead. Visited Moonbase. Next visit. Deactivated by Meteor? Return to Earth. Eastern Cavernside Asylum. Someone was following me here. I deactivated him. Deactivated him?
Well, next up, we have to find a, um, oh, yeah, we have to go back. City Hall. Huh. First step is the harvest. That's a pretty cool picture. I dig it. Kind of reminds me of our logo, actually. Enterprises. Legal documents. Aha. Private Privateer Street closer to Clando Street. Processing, and they sent patients to it. Why would you send Damn patients you to a insane, or insane asylum? Patients to a canning factory. Hmm. Oh, sorry if I was shining for that last bit. Can't really hear my own pitch. Sorry about that. Privateer Street. Do, 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 do. That's not good haven anymore. Privateer. Oh, Clambe. Oh. oh, yay, so the voices are not from that class. They're just a part of my head now. Yay. I shall name them. The lumpy one shall be named, or the screamy one shall be named Squiggles McLumpy Nose. I am not the crazy one. The octopi on my head is the crazy one. Maybe. I need help. Closer to Clambay Street. Hmm. Not on Clambay Street. Get some 
Heims. Nope. Hello. The door won't budge. You really think I'm worried about a door, buddy? Oh. Why would they need medical curtains and a wheelchair in a place like this? For obvious reasons. They are feeding the crazy people with the crazy people. Probably why they were crazy, to be honest. If you got your friend, you'd probably be a bit. Uh... I think I saw similar cans at the asylum. Maybe this factory isn't abandoned at all. Yeah. The surface of this table is soaked in old blood. Seen a lot of use. They even have a sluice tunnel. Dr. Pablo's draft letter. Dear head provis provisor, provisor, provisor. We appreciate you sending us these medical equipment samples, though these days we have undertaken different procedures to treat our patients. Nevertheless, we would greatly appreciate any help with food supplies, as we have grown very short on rations, and all the other vendors have already turned their backs on the asylum. Please let me know if you may be able to assist. Respectfully, yours, Robert Palmer. Nothing like a note tied to your shotgun to really... Return to sender. Dear Mr. Meyer, I would never bother unless pushed to a state of extreme need. Unfortunately, times have been rough, and for several months now the asylum has been on the brink of starvation. Please, if you would only agree to donate. A piece of paper with bloodstains on it. It says, you won. Return to sender. Dear Mr. Throgmorton, I hope you know I would never bother you unless pushed to a state of extreme need. We are in a state of famine here at Oakmont Asylum. As head clinician, I must entrust the fate of your five amongst patients to your hands. We humbly request any funds you as the head of a grand family may perhaps spare in our cause. I'll be honest. Robert is definitely fond of the arts, but... The princess pricked her finger with a spindle and fell upon the bed in a dead sleep. Sleeping Beauty. There's almost no morphine left in the bottle. Well, someone was having a party. Dr. Lydia Calloway, Oakland Asylum. SM, Oakmont Asylum. E.T., Oakmont Asylum. Emily Tucker. Could it be Emily Tucker? So, Tucker is in here somewhere. The funeral urn's not something you'd expect to see at a canning factory. Okay, forgive us, for we have sinned. <sighs> but at least we have secured ourselves another week or two. There now. Rest in peace, dear child. You know the worst part? I 
can't blame them. The princess pricked her finger with a spindle and fell upon the bed. Shh. Sleep well now, my dear. Time to figure this out. The princess pricked her finger with a spindle and fell upon the bed. You did good. Kay, forgive us for what there now. Rest in peace, dear child. It's horrific. Emily was sedated, killed, and then processed to make canned meat for the asylum. Her remnants were buried here. I... But yeah. There are extreme uh, circumstances where people would have to go to that level. If you have no food in your whole time for months, if not maybe even a year or two, you're eventually going to have to find some way to feed yourself. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been a bit. interesting mentally.